After inspection, we move on to palpation. At this point, you run your thumb down the dorsum of the nose, checking for any bony abnormalities and assess the degree of support at the tip. After this, you can check the patency of each nostril by covering each nostril in turn with your thumb and asking the patient to sniff in. Can you sniff in for me, please? And relax. And again for me, please. And relax. Here we're looking for any nasal obstruction or any alar collapse. Nasal patency can be further assessed using a cold metal tongue depressor held underneath the patient's nose. Can you breathe out for me, please? Good misting of the tongue depressor indicates good nasal patency. In the next part of the examination, we'll use a thudicum speculum to examine the nose. This is held from the tip of the index finger of the left hand, with the middle finger in the front and the ring finger behind, and the thumb pressed firmly on top to support. Hand is then twisted, and pressure is used between the middle and ring fingers to open and close the speculum. The thudicums are used to gently retract the alar, and inside you look up at the septum, inferior turbinate, the middle turbinate, and sometimes even the post-nasal space can be seen. Each nostril is examined in turn. A routine part of the ENT examination is um, the use of a flexible nasoendoscope to look at the internal aspect of the nose, the post-nasal space, and even as far back as the larynx. Before nasoendoscopy can take place, the nose must be anaesthetized with local anaesthetic spray in each nostril. This will take a few minutes to have an effect. When handling the nasoendoscope, you must hold it gently, a few centimetres from the tip. Using the controls in your other hand, the tip of the scope can be steered. Holding the end of the nasoendoscope in your left hand, you approach the patient, resting your little finger on the tip of their nose for stability, and pass the tip of the scope into the nose. As you enter the nose, you can see the inferior turbinate, the floor of the nose, the septum, and the middle turbinate. The scope is then passed into the posterior part of the nose, where you can see the eustachian tube opening, and the fossa of Rosenmuller. Passing the scope even further back, you can see the epiglottis, the arretinoid cartilages, and the vocal cords. The vocal cords can be assessed with the patient talking or even singing. Da, da, da. Nasoendoscopy concludes the examination of the nose. The sense of smell can also be tested if necessary.